dealing with a narcissist can be exhausting and draining. They thrive on attention, control and manipulation. And anything that threatens their sense of superiority or challenges their power can trigger a strong reaction. If you've ever found yourself in a relationship or situation with a narcissist, you may have experienced their extreme reactions to certain behaviors. Here are nine things you do that narcissists absolutely hate. Narcissists have an overwhelming need for control and dominance. They expect others to comply with their demands without question. When you assert yourself and refuse to go along with their plans or desires, it threatens their sense of power. Narcissists cannot tolerate being told no, and they will often react with anger, manipulation, or even aggression when they don't get their way. Your defiance shatters their image of perfection and of being special. It crushes the entitlement that they can have whatever they want and order people around as they wish. Even saying no to something trivial may see them go into a rage or start sulking and playing the victim. For it is not what you are saying no to. It is the fact that you dare say no to them. Healthy boundaries are essential for any relationship, but they are particularly important when dealing with a narcissist. Setting boundaries means defining what is and is not acceptable behavior and enforcing consequences when those boundaries are crossed. Narcissists see boundaries as a challenge to their control and entitlement and may become enraged when you try to enforce them. They may try to guilt trip you, manipulate you, or even ignore your boundaries altogether. Many will try to gaslight you and deny they ever overstepped your boundaries. Narcissists hate being held accountable for their actions, as they feel they are so special. They should get special treatment and a free pass every time. When you enforce consequences for them overstepping your boundaries, it places them in a position where you have power over them, making them feel insignificant and triggering their abandonment fear and insecurities. It also makes them fear that they can no longer manipulate and control you, and may thus lose the benefits they gain from you. Narcissists thrive on attention and admiration, and they cannot stand to see others happy or successful. When you are happy and fulfilled, it threatens their sense of superiority. They need to be the center of attention, and they also need to feel they are better than others. They may try to undermine your happiness by belittling your accomplishments, ignoring your achievements, or even sabotaging your success. Many narcissists are deep down very unhappy with their lives, and even with themselves. When you are happy, it reminds them of what they cannot have. Even if you have far less material goods than them, you being content and happy with what you have reminds them of how flawed they are and how they hate themselves. This is a massive threat to their ego and false image they project to the world, which will compel them to try to destroy your happiness. When your happiness comes from inside, it reminds the narcissist that they need other people's validation to be happy with themselves, and that other people actually hold power over them, something they hate to be reminded of. Narcissists have an insatiable need to be the best and the most important person in any situation. When you outshine them in any way, whether it's at work, in a relationship, or in social situations, it threatens their fragile ego. They may react with jealousy, resentment, or even hostility. They may try to undermine your success or take credit for your accomplishments. You may find that when you buy a new car, they list all the faults with a car or they go out and buy a higher spec model. Whatever you have that they feel makes you better than them, they need to devalue to make themselves feel better. It is as if you are in a constant competition with them where they try to always outshine you. If you manage to get a job, they may claim you only got it due to luck or because you knew someone. If you got a promotion or award, they may claim that you only got it because your boss likes you, or because it was so easy to do, anyone can do it. To you, it may be something trivial, but to the narcissist, it is a constant reminder that they are second to you and not as special as they believe they are. Narcissists have extremely fragile egos 
and they cannot handle any form of criticism, no matter how constructive it may be. Even you trying to help them is seen as you criticizing them. Narcissists see any criticism as you saying they are flawed and that you are better than them. It shatters their illusion of being perfect and triggers their insecurities. When you criticize a narcissist, even in the gentlest of ways, they may react with extreme defensiveness, anger, or even rage. They may try to turn the tables and blame you for their shortcomings, or they may become verbally or emotionally abusive. Many will refuse to take your advice and do exactly what you said not to do, even if they know it will harm them. If they do take your advice, they will often claim it was their idea. You will frequently find that after helping a narcissist, they refuse to thank you and may even deny you did anything for them. Or they will minimize your efforts and may even claim you did a poor job and they could have done it better than you. Others will try to pay you in some way so they can feel they never needed you and could have hired someone else instead. Narcissists go to great lengths to maintain their carefully crafted image of perfection and superiority. When you expose their true nature to others, it threatens their carefully constructed facade. This threatens their ability to manipulate others and what they get from those people. You exposing them may cause people to ignore or abandon the narcissist, something they dread happening. They may react with denial, gaslighting or even retaliation. They may try to discredit you, spread rumors about you or turn others against you in an attempt to protect their own reputation. Sometimes, even if you do not expose them, just the fact that you know their secrets makes you their enemy because you could in the future expose them. They will go to great lengths to destroy your name and reputation so that when you do try to expose them, no one believes you. Narcissists rely on manipulation and control to get what they want from others. When you stop reacting to their manipulation tactics and refuse to be controlled by them, it threatens their power over you. Narcissists fear not being in control as it threatens their ego and image. They will manipulate people into getting what they want even if there is no need to because the narcissist fears you having control over them by having a choice to say no to them. The need for control goes hand in hand with their entitlement where they think they are entitled to anything they want. To keep that illusion, they manipulate people so that they always get what they want, which further reinforces their entitled beliefs. When their manipulation on you no longer works, it scares them as they fear their manipulation may no longer work on others as well, and that they will lose the benefits they gain from you, even if it is just attention and validation. The narcissist may try new tactics and become increasingly desperate in their attempts to regain control resorting to guilt tripping, shaming, gaslighting or even threats and intimidation. Narcissists have an intense fear of vulnerability and will go to great lengths to avoid feeling exposed or insecure, which is one reason they cannot truly love as it requires being vulnerable and sharing your feelings with another person, which risks them being rejected, mocked or shamed. When you see through their facade and refuse to buy into their manipulation tactics, it makes them feel vulnerable and powerless. Even sharing your feelings with them can cause emotions to rise up in them, making them feel vulnerable, which they struggle to deal with. They may react with defensiveness, aggression or even withdrawal as they try to protect themselves from feeling exposed. They often hate when you push them to share their feelings or ask them to show more affection toward you. You may find that their affection feels off and robotic or rehearsed, as it does not come from inside them. Often their romantic actions are reenactments of TV shows they saw or from internet articles or books they read. It protects their ego because if you reject those romantic gestures, you're not rejecting them but the TV show or book they read. Narcissists thrive on attention and admiration and they cannot stand to be ignored or rejected. When you no longer give them the attention and validation they crave, or when you no longer depend on them for approval or support, it threatens their sense of importance. It may seem strange that they may support you until you succeed. Then they break you down and devalue you. For instance, when you get your own transport, when you become financially independent or finish your studies. 
This is a big problem for narcissistic parents who do not want to let their children live their own lives. They may react with anger, resentment, or even attempts to guilt trip or manipulate you into giving them the attention they crave. They may even try to sabotage your autonomy so that you need them again. Being ignored or no longer needed is something narcissists dread because it means they are no longer special and no longer relevant. With no internal worth, they see their worth and purpose in the validation they get from others. When there is no longer outside validation for their worth and purpose, it makes them feel dead inside and scares them to the core. So if you want to get revenge on a narcissist who hurt you, live your life without them, succeed without them, and be happy without them. Show them how irrelevant they are to you. But be warned, narcissists have many tactics to try to get you back. Watch this video to see how they may try to suck you back into a relationship with them.